Here is one more example for understanding KVAR. In my previous videos, we saw two examples, two individual videos, one on the horse towing a boat in a canal and uh, the other one is on bicycle. So this would be the third one. So let's assume that uh, we have a straight surface and we have a huge ball over here and uh, this ball has to be moved from this position A to this position B. Let's assume this has to be moved from A to B and we have three, three people three of them are there to push this. So if the surface is going to be straight all the three of them are going to push this ball from position A to B in this direction and they will directly push it. So that's called as kilowatt. They, they're going to push it directly from position A to position B. But let's say the same plane is inclined at an angle alright so this is the inclined plane and the ball is over here so with the same three people is it possible to push through from A to point B at the same speed with the same effort and within the same time the answer would be no out of the three two would be pushing this ball from A to B and one would be supporting the ball without falling down or rolling down. So that one person, the effort lost with one person due to an inclined plane is the KVAR factor and the total amount of effort or work required from moving the ball from A to B is KVA. I'm sorry, it should be straight. That's KVA. Let's see this with an example. So here is the ball and we have three people standing together and the plane is inclined now. The ball is resting at the position A with a stopper and now these three people have to push this ball to position B. As you can see here, two of them are pushing the ball that's the kilowatt and one of them is pushing just to keep the ball up preventing it rolling down the inclined plane you know so let's say we draw a triangle or understand with the help of uh, the power triangle just compare it so the po position A to B would be here position A to B Two of them are pushing it so that's the kilowatt the real work which we have to do is that and one of them here is pushing the ball up so that's not required actually since there is an inclined plane the ball has the tendency tendency to roll down so that's the KVAR factor and the actual work done put together is the KVA this is what we require so this is the unwanted factor still this factor can be devised into two one is the ball rolling down and the friction or resistance offered by the third person I mean he has to touch the ball and hold it so there is obviously resistance offered by this third person to the ball so the KVAR factor that's the reactive factor which is not desired if the plane has to be inclined a moment so I'll just make this alright so if the plane is straight from position a to position B what just required by the three people is just kilowatt they have to just push the ball but since the plane has been inclined let's say 
to an angle phi or theta or alpha, whatever it is. So there appears or arises an angle which is called as power factor which decreases the effectiveness or the effort of the three people who push the ball. So I mark this angle, let's say, uh, I'm sorry, not this one. This would be the angle, let's say phi or alpha or theta. So this creates the major difference. So this would be KVAR and this would be KVA. So the power factor phi or theta or alpha would be kilowatt by KVA. That's true power by apparent power. So with that in mind, we will let's get into the depths and understand it better. So the true power is the effective power actually done in moving the ball from A to B. That is two person or two people required to move the ball. And KVA is the total effect of kilowatt plus KVAR. And now what's KVAR? That's the one remaining person who keeps this ball pushed up. That's KVAR. And since the plane is inclined, there arises the angle with R. Electrically, we can say, let's say this is the voltage. And uh, here is the current. So the voltage and the current reaches the peak at the same time. So they are in phase. However, when this inclination occurs or the load varies, the voltage is like this and the current starts to lack the voltage if the load is inductive. And if it is capacitive, it's going to lead. Depending upon the load, the power factor varies. Hope this video explained you or made you understand the concept of power factor and the reactive power. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and uh, there are two or three more videos which explains the concept of KVAR which is shown here on the link. Please click, click that link and uh, watch those videos. And one small request from you all is there's a small like button at the corner of the YouTube screen on the left. So do press the thumbs up button which I like because it gives me a feedback which videos you like and which you don't so that I can improve on my video presentation. Thank you and do comment voice your doubts. Thank you for watching.